Welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. It is January 2nd, girl. I still got on my New Year's Eve wig. I am feeling this West Kiss hair. Girl, I just finished editing and uploading this video. It's not quite live yet, though. It'll go live this week. But, girl, I am loving this hair. The link will be down below in that description box. It's 16 inches 180 percent density and it's an ear to ear lace wig and y'all know i'm not really fond of ear to ear lace wigs but this one's good this one's good i don't have glues tapes or sprays on it and girl the hairline is doing its thing it really looks nice i'm feeling it but girl we about to go out here and get in these streets for a minute get something to eat do some browsing do some thrifting I have it in mind to go to Unclaimed Baggage, girl. I want to go see what the New Year's... But I just want to see what the New Year sales look like over at the Unclaimed, the baggage, girl. See what the people's Unclaimed Baggage is talking about. Okay. And to I'm going to go out and use a combination of both my phone now and my gimbal. Love, love, love this, this Osmo camera, girl. It is the bee's knees. I low-key want to see if they got another one. That's really why we're going. I want to see if they got... That updated one still there. I love this one. Love, love, love. Just getting the hang of it real good. I ordered some more pieces to go with it because this is one of those cameras where you have to kind of order things a la carte. And um, yeah, like a little joystick so I can control the gimbal head as it goes up and down when I'm trying to get different angles. I feel like that'd be great on this camera. But the three comes with all of those things. So I feel like I saw one in there the last time we were there. So we want to go see if it's still there. Because I want it. It's just like whenever I like something, I always want multiples. And this is one of those things. Especially if I can have an upgraded version of it. I definitely, most definitely want it. So that's what we're going for. To check out the luxury accessories as well as the electronics. We'll get something to eat too while we're out. But girl, this wig is everything. I am loving West Kiss hair. So nice. But yeah, girl, let's go ahead and get on out the door. But I'm not wearing anything special. I just got on an overcoat, um, a turtleneck sweater, and some wide leg um, faded black jeans from Fashion Nova. And girl, these are the most stretchiest, most comfortable jeans ever. I love these jeans. They're one of my favorite. Favorites, favorites, favorites to wear and travel in and work in, girl. Super stretchy, super comfortable. I guess I'm going to take my gloves. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Do I want gloves on today? Gloves would be super chic and cute. It just dresses up any look, girl. I love winter accessories. And y'all saw this scarf in my latest upload. Girl, this was an unclaimed baggage find that I got at a good, good price, girl. It was super reasonable. So that's what I mean when I say I'm going to look at the luxury accessories like the scarves and stuff because they had quite a few out and i went last week i didn't vlog that i don't want to bore y'all with the same old same old stuff because this is literally what i do i literally go there a lot i go to my regular regular run of the mill thrift store right here by the house a lot too and i just don't be want to bore y'all with the same old stuff but i literally have a routine that life i do almost the same things all of the time but yeah, girl, hold on. What is this? I got on um, liner glue. So my hair kind of gets stuck on my liner because it's fresh. But yeah, love this scarf. So, all right, and I'm going with my Gucci disco bag today. It's cute. It's got a leather tassel on it. It's cute. It's great for shopping. Cute little crossbody. Got too far. But not just any man will do. That's right. We out here looking for some big boys. with 
storm in the winter snowstorm. When chill gets blackened, but his jacket's unzipped. He bring in my groceries and just one trip. Till the sun comes back, I need a big boy hottie. Mix his own heat with his big boy body. For the next three months, skinny boys is dead. Forget a six pack, I need the whole damn bag. Big boy with a big old neck. A California king, refrigerator sack. With steaks on steaks on steaks on steaks on steaks But a bacon cheese and lasagna in the tray Need an enormous man with an enormous man Feeds me snacks with his enormous Alright guys, here we are We have arrived Unclaimed baggage girl Scottsboro, Alabama Looks like a packed house I hope they leave us something to look at. All right, girl, let's go in here and see what they have. We're checking out luxury accessories and electronics. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Looks like we had a little accident at the door. All right, we're gonna get us a cup. This is a cute tote. Very cute. I can't justify it because I already have like never fools. But this is equivalent. By now, if you follow my channel, girl, you know I am no stranger to unclaimed baggage. Right now, I'm just exploring the actual luggage section, girl. And as you see, they have an entire library in here with so many totes and uh, neck pillows, roller bags, girl. It's not called unclaimed baggage for nothing, okay? Unclaimed baggage has everything under the sun that you can think of. But right now, like I said, we're... We're primarily looking for luxury accessories and electronics today and whatever else good that we just stumble upon but now we've made our way to the shoe section girl they had some cute pieces over here in this shoe section now these heels were so cute they were giving me a renaissance vibes you know silver it just gives me beyonce but you can wear these whenever you feel like it be cute with old distressed denim uh, um long pant girl cute blazers so cute all the sparklers giving holiday vibes very festive these are super cute i like them not for me though i definitely don't want a pair but the gold ones were everything had these been a good old size 10 girl i would have had them now these alexander mcqueens have been in this store for forever for at least two summers two summers girl i can claim it was so cute, though. They might as well go ahead and mark them shoes on down because they're still like 200 bucks. But the clothes are endless. The scarves were endless. I didn't quite find any luxury scarves thrown in. And sometimes, like, if they've been there for a while, they'd be tucked in here with the regular, regular, regular scarves. They had quite a few, though, and they were so pretty. But, yet, yeah, I didn't get a scarf, though. We passed on the scarves today, but as you see wide variety so many things now this michael kors crossbody girl super cute oh i loved it i couldn't justify having it but i definitely wanted this cutie girl she is just everything super cute now this one has been on my radio for a long time very long time 
it was $179 with an extra 25% off, as well as that other Michael Kors bag that we just saw. But that one, that eggplant, uh, oxblood, birdo color, whatever that was, I don't know. If it's there the next time we go back, I'm definitely going to snag it. Because like I said, I've been wanting that for forever. The wallets are endless. So many cute ones. $25.99 for the Coach Wallet Girl. All right, so we had some Louis girl. We had some Christian Dior. And all of, almost the same thing that we saw last time in the SLG luxury case. I feel like they do sell quite a few of those, but they just have so many that they can just keep that case super stocked. But now we go up this little ramp with our cart to the electronics section. I really went back with the intent to get another one of the DJI vlogging cameras, but that was my bad because I should have bought that other one when I was there the last time when I bought my first okay, one. So we didn't get the camera, but I got some good stuff though. Some good finds. We got it, so. <laughs> chop chop i guess that's different than chop though right <laughs> we're gonna go in here and find out though let's just do a rolling tour and see what our options are because i have not been in this plaza in a while so we have okay this is coming soon korean barbecue and i do like korean barbecue joints there's a nice one that I used to frequent in Madison all the time. And then there's cons. So I've only been in there one time, so I can't tell you too much more about that. Okay, what else we got here? Alright, so we have an Asian market. Red wing shoes, and they are still thriving. Three scoops. Now, I do like three scoops. But, I don't know. Maybe we'll do... Well, I can't do that, can I? Okay. Big Bowl, Thai Cuisine, Subway, and then Nothing But Noodles. I do love Nothing But Noodles. I like everything, though. Um, well, we're going to try Chop Chop, though. We're going to see what those salads are talking about because I've never had that nothing but noodles is delicious I know that <laughs> but we're gonna do something new today batter up cake bakery maybe they got cupcakes we can try Yeah, yeah, clearly. 
Y'all, so I'm sitting here at work just thinking about my New Year's resolutions. And mine are pretty much, you know, just like everybody else's. Um, be a better me. Lose weight. Drink more water. You know, and continuously. Like we always do. Just mind our business, okay? We're just going to mind our own personal business. But I need to incorporate the word no more. That's what I'm going to do because, I'm, you know, I've realized more and more and more that, you know, when you're this big age and when people realize that you don't have kids or, you know, like a living family, husband, boyfriend, that type of situation. And not that I don't, because everybody has somebody. I just don't publicly publicize my personal business to people, you know, so they don't readily know my life like that. But they just always think that you are available to just come to work and just be in here all day and all night. But that's not it, though. That's not what we're doing in 2024. We're just not doing that. And a lot of times I do be wishing I had kids just so I could pop out the bag like everybody else doing and says, oh, no, I can't stay today. I got to go home and get to my kids. My dog needs to be walked. I need, I need to go home and cook dinner for my husband. I got a ball game tonight. Um, Susie got danced tonight. That type of stuff. I'm ready to say all of that. Because it seems to be a get out of jail free car for a lot of those people to get out of work. So he brings a salad. I cooked this chicken this morning. Y'all, so I gotta get this weight off. And I have honey mustard. Hey y'all, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Happy Monday, girl. We just completed a week, our first week into 2024. And it was it was pretty good. I can't complain. But this morning, we are up bright and early. It is like 9, 9.26. And we are about to go get my oil changed and then run a few errands. Nothing special. We're not going thrifting or nothing like that. I'm not even shopping for anything specific. We're just going to be out and about for a minute. So that's what we are about to do. I think come back and I'm in the process of still dragging. Girl, let me tell you. So last night. I was hanging more clothes and actually taking off. And as you see, it doesn't look like a whole lot is on that rack. But I attempted to pull it over into the room, girl, and it just caved some more and kind of bent. So I don't know what I'm about to do with that thing. Um, I did order a more expensive, more sturdy one. That's what I'm looking so, for. So that's what I'm waiting on. But, girl, and we're waiting on a package from Shein today, too. So I'm excited about seeing what I got from them. I won't be recording that video today, though. But y'all know I'll give you a preview of some of the pieces. And I'll probably get into that video tomorrow. So it can go up kind of midweek or towards the end of the week. Y'all know how I love my Shein pieces. And I went for more lounge wear because I'm wearing loungewear right now from Laura Gal. I love this sweatsuit. It's kind of cropped. But the pants are so long. They literally fall under my shoes when I walk. So I'm having to keep the the bottoms of the hems kind of tucked under so I'm not walking on them. But I like the set. But yeah, so we're just going to get out in these streets for a minute, grab some lunch, come on back. Took the decorations down off the trees, put the trees up. That's what all these totes are. And I got to make those, uh, make my way over to storage with those. All right, so they are done with my car. It wasn't so bad. They told me like two hours, but it only took like maybe an hour, 15 minutes or so. It was super quick. I'm happy. So now we are going to go to this shopping plaza that's like literally down the street. That's like Target, Ross, Five Below and all those. I haven't been in Five Below in forever, so I think that's what we're going to go. We're going to go in Five Below and Target, then get us some lunch and go home and finish 
cleaning up all this stuff. Oh, girl. So they offered to take me over here, but I don't like being dropped off places. I'm like, no, I'll wait. <laughs> Nothing to drop me off. All right, so we're gonna go in here and see what Five Below has. And it's been years since I've been in here. All right, girl, let's get this party started down at the People's Five Below. They have some cute Valentine's Day tumblers, okay? All your chocolates and, and goodies for goodie bags if you create those for your family and friends, girl. All the exercise needs, girl. They had all these cute little pink weights jump ropes and yoga mats they had all the things for your new year new me shenanigans okay looks like some loungewear sleepwear all the graphic tees and just miscellaneous stuff that really isn't my my thing so we just breezed on past because i really ain't with digging through stuff and then this store just looks like it's a lot to take in almost like a ross or a tj maxx to me but with cheaper items. This is like a upscale dollar store because the name says it five below. Everything is like five dollars and below. Well, I take that back. They've gone up like the dollar twenty-five tree. They're now five dollars and fifty-five cents. But these cups were so cute. Stanley Cup dupes. It was nice, definitely nice. Then you had your Starbucks tumbler style cups too okay we have the gold silver and the rose gold and then we hit the jackpot all the cute colors and the stanley dupes okay of course of course i had to pick up two they were just five dollars five dollars all right so i got two cute cups for a fraction of the price now i do love the stanleys too i do have an actual stanley but these were too cute. I couldn't leave them. And they had so many pretty colors. All right, so we're going to do teriyaki madness for lunch today. Alright girl, so we're back. I'm about to wash my five below Stanley dupes and the Shein box has arrived too. So we're going to open that and you guys are going to get a sneak peek of some of the items that I got and then finish straightening up my living room. But like I said, I've already taken all the ornaments off, put them in their stair light totes. Now I just have to take the trees down and get them packed up and ready to go to storage i was keeping the white tree in the house but i'm taking them both over to storage just to free up some space in this apartment okay so you guys know i was just getting ready to wash my new stanley duke cups and i know a lot of you are online saying that you would never pay 30 50 dollars for this not a stanley cup and i get it i totally get it i'm all about a good affordable dupe too y'all know i'm all about thrills and feels but this this is very cute this is very very cute they look super similar but they don't compare for the simple fact that they're plastic on the inside with the true dupes you know and the stanley it's like metal in the inside even my american airlines dupe cup 
has the metal inside. That metal inside is what's going to help keep your items hot or cold. Now, the outside is a thin aluminum material. It's kind of bendy, but it's still nice. It, it's definitely worth the $5, but they they definitely don't have the metal inside. But they're nice, though. Now, I still highly recommend picking these up, especially if you just want it a color variety of you have young girls who've been wanting a handle style cup this is a definitely definitely a great option for them especially if they're like super young like elementary girls because you know they ain't gonna do no put that cup down somewhere and lose it or let somebody steal it walk away with it and you won't feel as bad about them losing or misplacing that cup if you just go ahead and get one from you know um five below but i i i think they're nice i really do love it um these two are so cute like i said they did have other colors as you saw that pink one was so cute but like, i'm gonna go ahead and finish washing them i'm probably gonna go ahead and start using this white one like right now i love it it's definitely worth the five dollars definitely worth it and i'll see how long the ice <laughs> stays in this cup while we finish our day recording and cleaning All right, guys, so I have my Shein box opened. Ah, I'm so excited about this. I can't wait to try these pieces on. Oh, my black. No, 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 my brown. I'm tripping. This is clearly brown, girl. Clearly brown. My brown turtleneck fitted sweater. This is something that I needed, needed. And I'm strategic with my ordering. I legit go through my clothes and see what it is that I need now all of these pieces are geared towards their um Valentine's Day and Galentine's Day campaign I picked out some cute outfits that could be worn for such occasion like the sweater with hearts and I plan to pair it with um Black pants, jeans, or that leatherette skirt would be cute. So I'm going to do all that in tomorrow's recording of the video. And these pants are what I'm more so interested in. Let me go ahead and open these. I hope you guys can see me well. I'm using my DGI camera. And this little screen is kind of small. It's the only thing I don't fancy about my new little vlogging camera. It's a little screen on it. These are some thick brown and black and beige wool like blend pants. These are so pretty. I'm praying I can wear these. OMGG. If not, it's going to take me a good two and a half, three weeks to get into these. And no soda, only water and salad. But I'm going to do it. I hope I can fit them. These are so beautiful. Girl, I love Miss Machine these days. So pretty. So I have them in a size 12 though, extra large, size 12, a Euro 44. We'll see. Okay, so I did pick up another cute sweater with like lions on it. I thought this one was so cute. Really cute with black pants or black jeans. And this is a two-piece coordinate set in pink. This is a turtleneck sweater with the matching pants. Now, I wore this outfit like three or four weeks ago when I um, took an overnight trip to a Diamond's house. I had it on in beige with a blazer with my wide sale bag and some sneakers. And it was a total look. It was very, very cute for our dinner at the fish market. So, so cute and comfortable. And of course... I can't go to Shein without getting some denim. And I got kind of a dark wash. All right, so I'll be completing this video tomorrow and it'll be going up this week. So I'll be on the lookout. So I got that coordinate set in pink. Okay, a sweater with hearts. And I got it in. I thought I, okay, so I didn't get it in black. I definitely want it in black. I got it in like a burgundy, a birdo color. We'll call this burgundy because birdo has more of a wine, purpley look to it. 
But this one's very cute too. Super cute. I'll be trying not to fully unbox all this stuff so it can kind of feel and look, you know, like a first impressions in the actual video for Shein. But yeah, really nice pieces. But I can't lie, I'm probably going to try these pants on after my bath tonight. I am really excited about this look because I got this to go with these along with other things. Hey y'all, happy Tuesday! Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to another day in my life, y'all. Um, I'm getting a late start. It is 2.18 in the afternoon. I'm just getting into a place where I felt like putting on some clothes. So what I'm going to do right now is start taking things over to my storage unit. All of my Christmas decor. Put all that up and come back and further relax. I thought I was going to get some stuff done. Did I do my wig? But I'm not going to do anything today. I don't feel like putting no face on. And I surely don't feel like doing no trials. So that will probably get done after work since I'll probably have on a slight beat. Powder my mug when I get home and then do the try on video. But I did try on those uh, wool pants last night. They are so cute, girl. I don't know why I was thinking I couldn't fit them. They look kind of little, but I am super thick. We get slim, slim thick. Then when I get back from storing things in my storage unit, I got to come in here and further straighten up because there's some things in here that are already packed up and kind of ready to go too. I'm going to see what I can grab and take that over because I only got a few more hours to be up because I have to start work this week at 3.30 a.m. So yeah, we'll probably be in here some. But let me show you this i got a black picture light to go over this mirror my body length mirror in here so i want to have this installed too like this mirror it is so tall this is like a nine foot mirror but i want this to go above it because y'all know i don't have lights overhead lights in here so i definitely need this this would be a big help so we'll probably get this up today and girl, straighten up in here. It is a mess. And I need to take down the lights. Like those little magnetic lights that are around in here. And put those on the charger because they are dead. Because those would legit pop on every time I walked in. That was a big help. I'll have those linked down below if you guys need some. But girl, when I tell you they light up the room though... They really do. I really need to. And I need to put purses back in their respective places. They're just piled up in my bedroom and they need to be back in here on the shelves or in their boxes. That box is open because of my bag that I carry New Year's Eve. But yeah, this room just needs some TLC. Some organization and some TLC. This room has really gotten away from me. This weather is crazy. We're under a wind advisory. When I tell you the wind is blowing so hard, it's crazy. And then it's like slightly raining. But I just picked up my sandwich from Jersey Mike's. Can't wait to get home and eat that. Because tonight, um, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta returns. And I need to do some catching up because I never got into this season. So... I need to catch up and see what I've missed because I am a Saucy Santana fan so I do want to see what he got going on girl I love me some Saucy with his crazy self so yeah I think for me I think I stopped watching them kind of shows because I just be over the drama all the fighting and all ugh girl I ain't got time for that I think because I see it so much in real life every day I don't want to come home and watch it on TV that's just crazy to me but I'm excited for tonight's episode okay i'm gonna get into this drama this time
Ooh. What all have I missed? <laughs>